I know guys, let's start here. Uh, let's start with the yellow canvas. Uh, yeah, I have here the uh, 10 inches by 12 inches uh, canvas. The background is I paint the uh, uh, I paint this the yellow or acrylic yellow. And also I have here the colors that I'm going to use this entire tutorial guys. And I have here the white, the cadmium yellow, the yellow ochre, the light green color, the sap green, the tallow blue, the burnt cena, the cadmium orange, the brilliant red, and also the black color. Uh, for this tutorial guys, I'm going to start with the yellow canvas or the yellow background. I'm going to paint here the uh, landscape. The first thing to do is I'm going to paint here the sky. But before I'm going to start the uh, sky here, I will uh, make this canvas wet. I'm going to paint this one the lens as well so that uh, it will... Uh, wet and I mean I'm going to add colors to this canvas especially the uh, sky uh, the background colors it's very easy to blend to the background because the background color is wet so the first thing to do is I'm going to paint here the uh, lens as well using this one and a half flat brush there you go I'm going to paint this one with the lens as well everything here just paint everything here with the lancet oil so that it will uh, wet the background will wet and can easily uh, paint the co the colors here now it's wet so my uh, canvas here is wet so it's time to add here the other color the sky so the next thing to do is I'm going to mix the color of this tallow blue. This one is the tallow blue, the tallow blue and also the white color. I'm going to mix these two colors. Tallow blue and the white. There you go. Just mix these two colors. I'm going to paint here tallow blue so I'm going to use this brush the one and a half brush flat brush there you go this upper portion this corner just paint directly the tallow blue there then the dry brush then a little bit touch with the dry brush and there very nice I'm going to mix the color of this white and the yellow color should be a small yellow to the white color there you go to create the lighter yellow and there just like that I'm going to add this part here maybe this one here going to the upper portion and there just add white here, this area. The lighter yellow here. Oops. I'm going to touch this one with a dry brush. To scatter this part here. This is my sun area here, or the light source. That's it. Very nice. Going to the upper portion. A little bit here and there. Mix the color of this orange. Orange and the white color. Just mix these two colors. There you go. To create the lighter orange there. That's nice. 
I'm going to create here the clouds here the scattering clouds from this above above and there there you go very nice using this palette knife there you go and there then I'm going to touch with the uh, dry brush again to make this very nice uh, clouds there you are very nice and there going to the upper portion very nice very nice sky and there I like the scattering clouds there for my sky the lighter orange There you are. Very nice. I'm going to mix the color of this blue. The blue and the blue and the red or the bright or the brilliant red. Just mix these two colors. The blue and the red. To create this uh, lavender or the purple color and just add some of this one here at the upper portion for the shading the shading of the clouds here there you go the clouds that are not affected by the, uh, the lights there you are Um, here small just that's a little bit here just there very nice and there I'm going to touch with the, this one with the dry brush Just small touch. There you go. Very nice. And there. That's very nice there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, lighten this part here because this area is uh, nearer to the sun, so. I'm going to lighten that part, then the touch of the yellow, the yellow here, I'm going to touch some yellow, there you are, there you go, there you 
Just that some um, part here with the yellow. And there. It's one, the orange. I'm going to mix again the orange and the yellow color. I'm going to mix these two colors. The orange and the yellow. There you are. Just add white. Just add white to this color. There you are. This kind of color here. I'm going to add this this one here using this palette palette knife that's nice there you are Just continue adding with this color to this part. Very nice. How about the orange color? We're going to add this orange color directly here at the upper portion here. There you are. Very nice. And there. The white color. I'm going to add also the white color here. It's my sun area here. That's why I'm going to lighten this part. Adding the light color, the white. There you are. Very nice. And there. very nice guy then the next thing to do is we're going to uh, create here the mountains what I'm going to do to here I'm going to mix the color of this blue I'm going to create here the mountain so I'm going to mix the blue and the burnshina the burnshina and the blue color there you go I'm going to make here the mountain maybe this one here there you are I'm going to make here the mountain here color and bonchina just mix these two colors and just paint here that one use this brush to make this little bit detail here and there maybe that one that's my mountain area then I'm going to add also the sky blue color here for my mountain to this part there you go the sky blue color for my far mountain to this area here it's 
sky blue color you can use the brush here just there far mount into this part and there that's nice I'm going to mix the color of this blue color and the white color to make the sky blue color here and the blue and the white there you are just paint here you can add directly here the white color here there you go just add directly the white color or the titanium white to this part and there then I'm going to use my brush to make this bl blend here and there this is my far mountain that one just add more white I'm going to use this palette knife so that I can easily add here the white there you go and use my brush and there that's nice and going to this part just a little touch here and there just a little touch to this area and there we need to add this one the white color going to add the white color here to make this little of foggy fogs effect to this part to this mountain there you go I use my brush to make this lighten this one this is my near mountain this is my far mountain here the other side and there going down there I'm going to add here a little bit line so that this one is it will this make this clearly near mountain here and there Then just a little touch. There you go. Very nice. Very nice here. The blue and the, the bronchina. Just add again this color, this two color. I'm going to paint here to make this a uh, little bit line to emphasize this one is this mountain is near than the other mountain here there at the back portion. There you go. And just a little touch with a dry brush. There you are. Very nice. Very nice mountain. The upper portion here. Just a little bit pulled down with this dark color. And there. Before that, I'm going to add also the white here indicate my sun here to this part there you are very nice and there that part makes the color of this 
white and the orange color just small amount of orange just mix this white and the orange color there you go this kind of color that I want it's like marble I'm going to paint here for the highlight of this mountain there you are that one white and the orange color just mix again there you are and there and also the white color just add white here for more highlight color here for more lighter color to this part to this mountain There you go. And there. I'm going to mix the color this white and the blue color to create the sky blue color. There you are. This kind of color. I'm going to add this one here for the the highlight of the back portion this one is the highlight of this back portion here to this mountain there you go very nice and there that's nice mountain some highlight here or a little bit darker color here this part that one blue and white color to create this kind of color here just add here and that one very nice mountain and just a little bit touch here lower portion there you are very nice i'm going to add white here at the lower portion to make this a little bit uh, lighter to make the hard edges uh, soften or soft for the upper portion it's uh, like a uh, more hard edges for my clouds here so I'm going to uh, touch a little bit here using this dry brush just touch a little bit here almost the tip tip of this uh, brush or this bristle just touch a little with this color orange because it's like a little bit hard the edges of this cloud is a little bit hard so we're going to touch a little bit here so that it will make this soften or soft there you go and there 
So stats, stats a little. And there, it's like a circular type of brass strokes so that you can get the uh, exact exact what what it, what you want for these clouds. There you go. Now it looks like so nice, very nice. And there. very nice clouds there so the next thing to do is I'm going to add here the water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the color this orange and the yellow color there you are Just mix these two colors yellow and there yellow and orange I'm going to mix these two colors I'm going to add here directly there this is my water to this area and there I'm going to make this pull down here I'm going to add water to this part just pull down there you go pull down the brush then just cross horizontally oops it has the black color don't you worry about that we're going to fix that later yeah, I'm a little bit far with this mixing plate. And there, I think that one. Mix the color this blue. The blue and small, this one, the red color. The blue and the red color. Just add white, a small amount, just small tass of white to create this kind of color. There you go. I'm going to add here the uh, the land or the uh, the trees to this part. There you go. I'm going to add some trees to this part and just a little bit up here. It's my trees here going up there. Just very nice. Just there. Just touch a little with this with this flower brush and there just going down there. Just a little down to this part. Just pull down this brush, this color here. And there. That's nice. Very nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add here the trees. There you go. To add here, family, one of this kind, this area, and there. There are lots of kinds of trees there, so we're going to add like that. Then some trees is like this one, and there. It's very nice trees. That one also here. That's nice. There you are. Very nice part of the tree there. And there. This one also here. 
there that part is very far so we cannot we will not make, make this trees detail there just that one and there I'm going to mix the color of this burcina and the yellow ochre just mix these two colors here and just add blue color just a small touch of blue there and white there you go to create this kind of color just add more white there you are this kind of color I'm going to paint here for some dirt to this area the ground to this part also there you go I'm going to add more white to this color and just add bird china there you are this kind of color that I want to this part here the land the soil there burn sin again and add white there you are this kind of color for the dirt here and there that's very nice add white just add more white and just paint here the lighter color for the for the uh, some highlight here the sand and the soil to this part there you are it will pull down this color for the instant you know instant reflection here reflection to the uh, reflection of the trees to the water there you are so the next thing to do is we're going to add here the detail here or the subject to this part I'm going to mix the color of this blue this blue and the sap green I'm going to mix these two colors the blue and the sap green there blue and the sap green color there you are I'm going to add here the trees to this part here this area maybe this one the blue and the sap green to this part I'm going to add here the trees to this part this one this color that one then a little bit dark some dark trees here or the dark color of the leaves here and there just mix again the blue and the uh, sap green I'm going to add some leaves here and there some leaves of the trees to this area that's nice very nice I'm going to add also the trunk to this part here 
the trunk and also the uh, the uh, bronzes to this part there you are that one very very nice I'm going to add more trunk here. And there. Tough one. There you are very nice just continue adding with this color i just add the black color directly here for the trunks of these trees here there you are the next thing to do is i'm going to mix the color of this sap green and this yellow ochre just mix these two colors the sap green and the yellow ochre. There you go. Just add more yellow ochre to create this kind of color. There you are. I'm going to get my flat brush. Just add here for my for some leaves here. The leaves of these trees. There you go very nice that one very nice After that, I'm going to mix the color of this light green and the soft green. Just mix this a little bit to make this a little bit dark color. There you go. Just add here for some color also the leaves here. The color of the trees to this part. that one the light green color for the highlight here or the uh, lighter color the trees the lighter color the leaves here there you are light green color there you are there very nice color the trees here That's very nice here. That one there. I like the trees to that part. I'm going to mix the color this Bernsina. The Bernsina and also the sap green. I'm going to mix these two colors. There you go. And just add the blue color also. there you are i'm going to paint here directly this is my sun area here this area also i'm going to create here the small island to this part just small island there so this is the sun area so on this small island, uh, I'm going to darken this part here. That one. I'm going to darken this part here. 
just small just small touch here there you are there you go just a little bit dark here the sap green and also the uh, this color yellow ochre just paint here there you are for some grasses here and the bushes the shrubs there the ground here that one is the base color of my ground maybe we're going to add here the house what I am going to do is I'm going to mix the color of this Bornsina and the orange color and add white there you go I'm going to make here first the roof The roof of this house there you go the orange and the bonchina add white there you are I'm going to make this a little bit higher here a little bit bigger house here and there that's nice there you are And there, a little bit dark here, dark color. and there that one black and also the uh, bronchina i'm going to mix these two colors the black and bronchina i'm going to add here for the wall of this house or the body of this house there you are one is the body of this house here the native house this is the native house here There you are. It's time to add a detail this house. From this area, I'm going to mix the color with the blue and also the white color. To create this sky blue color here. Just add small orange. That there. I'm going to paint here directly. Just go down there. Add orange 
and white color this area is not affected by the lights so it's like a there is a the highlight but it's not a deal more light it's like a uh, just a little just a little highlight to this part and there that one I'm going to add the slabs or the uh, the orange color just mix the orange color and yellow there you are just add orange color and yellow this kind of color or just add small red this kind here then it's not complete without the uh, the out the black color for the uh, the shading I'm going to use my light brush so that it will make this very nice there we go this one is the the wood the cat of the wood here and there that one then we're going to add it on the window I'm going to darken this part here this area is not affected by the lights or the shadow of this roof to this uh, this area the upper portion of this wall and there that's nice very nice mix the color this blue and the black color there you are I'm going to make this the window here maybe maybe I'm going to use this line brush there you are Just use this black color. And there. This orange. And the white color. There you go. I'm going to add here the window jam there. and there that's nice very nice we're going to add some design this window here then the black and the uh, this color the yellow this uh, boroncina going to cut this one here there you are we're going to add also here maybe this one here there you are orange and the uh, yellow ochre orange and the yellow ochre I'm going to add here the another extension of this house this 
add blue color there you are just add white just add white to this color and the orange very nice that's very nice there then the yellow ochre the yellow ochre and the white for this roof here black color there you go Just add black color here. This area is not affected by the light, so we're going to darken this a little bit here. And there. Then the the blue and the white color. We're going to mix these two colors. Add white there. I'm going to add this one here and there. That's nice. This one also here. A little bit bigger here to make this balance. Oops. And there, a little bit cat here, dark color to minimize more. There you are. Then, then the orange. The orange and also the Bornsina. There you go. Just add here for the wood to this part. There you go. Very nice. the yellow ochre to make this little bit uh, yellow and the yellow ochre to fix this part here and there I'm going to mix the color of this white I'm going to add white to this color that I mixed earlier the yellow and the yellow ochre I'm going to add here for the highlight of this roof to this part because this area is affected by the lights coming from the sun there. We're going to lighten this area or directly paint the white here. And there. I'm 
and this also white at the very top of this portion there you are there then the yellow the yellow and the yellow ochre just mix these two colors there the yellow and the yellow ochre just add blue this kind of color here and there and the dark color I'm going to add the black color here this kind of color this kind of dark color there you are that one very nice I'm going to mix the color this black and blue color add sap green there you are I'm going to uh, paint here I'm going to cut this part here to make it this house uh, it look like not a floating house here just add the grasses to this part just make this one here that one very nice Just continue adding this one here, the grasses and the bosses. Small trees there. So the next thing to do, I'm going to paint here the white. I'm going to kill the uh, or uh, add the white to this uh, line, a little dark line here. So I'm going to add a white for the highlight to this mountain. Just directly paint here the white. there that's nice even more nicer mountain now and this one all this one also here there you go and the blue or the sky blue color There you go. Very nice. And there. I'm going to mix the color of this white and the yellow color to create the lighter yellow. There you go. Just add the uh, yellow ochre also. And there. I'm going to paint here this is my tree to this part white the yellow 
the base color or the lighter color here because this area is affected with the lights coming from this coming from the sun so I'm going to lighten this area here for my tree and then just a little touch with my dry brush and there that's it <clears throat> then that's with the yellow color there you go very nice using this black color I'm going to add here the trunk of this tree going to use this pointed brush here create a very thin lines to this tree There you go. And there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the sap green and the yellow color. Yellow and the sap green. Just add white from that. Just load the bristle and just paint here. Just add the sap green. Sap green and the yellow ochre. There you go. And there, that's nice sap green and the yellow ochre I'm going to load my bristle there you are this area is affected by too much light so the background there is white or lighter color there you are very nice very nice tree there white and the yellow it should be more white color to create more light color there you go I'm going to add that one here for more highlight to that to that part area there to that area the back portion there you are very nice This area is affected by too much light, so we're going to lighten this part here. That one there. This one here at the lower portion, just mix the sap green and the light green color. Just add here. this lower part here and there this one this color that one very nice Again, I'm going to add here the bigger tree also here. I'm going to add more bigger tree. Another tree here. Little bit bigger. Get my line brush. Just add here the trunk or the branches of this tree.
There you are. Let's add more twigs. There you go. That one. The leaves to the tree. I'm going to mix the color, the soft green and the yellow ochre again. Soft green and the yellow ochre. Just add orange, small orange. I'm going to load the corners fan brush there we go that one there I will mix the yellow, yellow here, yellow, I'm going to add yellow to the soft green and the yellow ochre, the small amount of yellow ochre there and the white color there, this kind of color that I want and I'm going to get my round brush. I'm going to add some light color here. The highlight of this tree. There. And now let's continue here, guys. I'm going to uh, mix the color this white and a very small touch of this yellow to make this lighter yellow here. And just add here for the highlight. The highlight of this uh, tree. There you go. I'm going to add this here, the highlight, because the sun is coming from this center here. So the highlight of this tree is coming this side here. So let's mix some highlight there. And there. Add white, touch with the yellow, small touch with the yellow, that one, just there, let's paint here, and there, this one, the round brush, I'm going to paint also the yellow color, just paint directly the yellow color here. Just cover this one. There you go. The uh, color of the leaves here. And there. The yellow color here. So that it will have the detail of this tree here. And there, that's nice, very nice tree. Before that, I'm going to mix the color of this sap green. Sap green and also the, uh, the small touch of this color, the yellow green. The small touch of yellow green there. This is not a yellow green, light green rather light green to make this kind of color and just add the yellow ochre there you go that one that one 
And after that, I'm going to get my brush also. I'm going to paint here for the darker leaves here. For this tree. And there. So, we can uh, paint here the darker leaves, this tree. And there. Oops. Got here. The darker leaves that are not affected by the lights. So, we're going to paint that one, the dark color here. This one also here. And there. Soft green, just add soft green to this color. Just add more soft green. And there. That's nice. Very nice. There you are. Add more soft green and yellow, uh, the yellow ochre. To make this kind of color. Let's add here for this darker leaves here to this tree. And there. Then it's time to add this one, the the, the I mix earlier earlier, the uh, light green and the small touch of yellow to create this kind of yellow color. Just touch here, just a lot touch this in between with this dark color and the light color. There you go. These are the uh mid tone of this tree the yellow and uh, light green color Let's add also here with the green color of the leaves here that one very nice yellow and a light green color yellow and the light green just add here always in between with this light and the dark color and there that's nice very nice color the trees here light green and there that one very nice then it's time to add directly the white color also for more highlight here Let's add more white here to make this more lighter color here to uh, emphasize the uh, the trees of these leaves here and there that one very nice and uh, also this one here there you are And there, that's, we have a very nice tree to that area. So the next thing to do is we're going to detail this one here. So I'm going to mix this color, the Bornsina and the blue color. The Bornsina and the blue color. Let's add this kind of color, the yellowish, the lighter color. And just add yellow ochre. There you go. There, and just add e, this Bernsina. And there, this kind of color. I'm going to add here the dirt or the sands. 
There you go. Just continue here. Just add this color for my sands here and the soil, the dirt to this part. There you go. And I'm going to add more white to this color to make the more lighter here. There you are. Let's add more white. There you are. Very nice. Then the highlight of this tree. So I'm going to mix the color this yellow ochre and the small red. Yellow ochre and a small touch of red and the white color. Just add more white. That one, this kind of color. I'm going to add here the highlight of this tree. The highlight of the trunk to this to this tree. There you go. And there. That's nice. Very nice tree. Oh and also the sub green. Sub green and the uh the yellow ochre, just add this one or just mix these two colors. Just add here for some uh, grasses here. There you go. The light color, I'm going to add this one the, uh, that I mixed earlier. I'm going to add white to make this lighter color, this kind of color. And just add here for some color of the grasses to the soil. There you go. That's nice. Very nice. And there. This one I'm going to darken this a little bit. Just mix the yellow this burnsin and the black color mix these two color just add some of this here there you go just add here for some shading this grab this grab dirt very nice very very nice now that one then this one, I'm going to mix the color, this sap green and the blue color. Sap green and the blue color, just mix these two color and add yellow ochre. There you go, this kind of color. Just add also here for the uh, some shading this ground for the grasses here. There you are. Very nice. That one. Then some light color here. We're going to add a highlight color of the grasses so that it will emphasize here that this one is there is a yeah, touch, small touch of the highlight coming from that the light source or the sun. There you go. Just add white there and there. That one. And a little bit uh, dark color with that in the dark in this part. So the uh, born sina and also the orange color. A small touch of the orange. And add white. There we go. This kind of color, just add here. This area is not affected by too much light. We're going to darken this, this part and there and some highlight there probably highlight here we go there you are and there dark color here 
this in the Burnsina and the black color. I'm going to mix these two color. Just a dark color here. And there, that's nice for the instant reflection. Sap green, the Burnsina, and a small touch of orange. The blue color. There you go. Just add here. There you go. Small touch of the dry brush. There you go. Just a little. And just cross a little bit here. There you are. Very nice reflection of the water. The reflection also of this tree trunk here. Just there. A small touch there. And there. Just there, very nice. This area is not affected by too much light, so I'm going to mix the color of this the blue, the blue and the white color. Just mix these two colors and add sap green also. This kind of color, the bluish green, the bluish green color. I'm going to add also here. For the ground, this not, this area is not affected by the uh, too much light, so there you go. White, the white and the blue. There you are. And there. That's nice. We're going to add that one the uh, color the uh, plants there. So the sap green. Here we go. Sap green here. Small touch of this green color. So let's continue here. I'm going to finish this small island here. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to paint also the yellow with that color. Yellow first. This area here for the, uh, for the small. Uh, there you go. Very nice. That one. Going to add the dirt here, this kind of color. A little bit browning. Lighter brown here. And there. That one. That's very nice. There you go. And this one also. I'm going to add some brown color here for the sand and the soil. Stones here. There you are. Very nice. The lighter brown. The burnsina and the yellow ochre. Just mix these two colors. There you go, and add brilliant red, the small brilliant red, and add white, this kind of color that I want to paint here. Just add more yellow ochre, there you go. There you are. This is my soil here or the, the sandy uh, soil because this one is the ne very near to the river so there is this sand to this part to this, to this one here and there 
then I'm going to mix the color this yellow ochre and the white color I'm going to mix these two colors there you go the yellow ochre and the white color I'm going to paint also here for some highlight color effect there you go there you are there and there white color just add white just more white here there you are just more lighter brown here there you go and there then the small tats of this black color here and the burn china black black color and the burn china here just that's there you go I am going to add here maybe a round rush this one for the uh, shadow or the the shading these rocks and stones to this part there you go very nice very very nice here right now it's good looking painting now this one there you are very nice rocks and the uh, sand and stones to this part and also here and there to make it this little bit balance here this color I'm going to add also here this kind of color the uh, yellow ochre and the white color Just mix these two colors there and there that one just small touch of this here make it blurry color effects here just to to kill the uh, hard edges or the uh, to make this hard edges minimize so that this part here is good looking to the eye side there you are just add more white here we are there we go just add here for the water And there, the liner brush, what we call the pointed, very pointed brush here. There you are, for this kind of water here. And there, that's nice. And this white color. For the running water here there you are that's nice very nice painting now there you go and there and this one also here we're going to add some bubbles and 
there that's very nice and the dark color here you need to add some dark color here there you are it's my water very very nice I'm going to add also here and there that's nice the bluish or the sky blue color this color here I'm going to add this one here this area is not affected by the lights so we're going to add the grasses here that one the grasses and the bushes to this part there you are very nice look like the abandoned house here and there the flat brush just mix here or just add here or some grasses to this area and the yellow color this part here and there that's nice very nice and the yellow the light green color A light green color there and there it's nice maybe pathway here this is the lighter brown I mix the I will mix this color the burnsina the blue and add yellow ochre let's add yellow ochre I'm going to paint here directly small going around going around to this house here and there in the yellow ochre just paint also the yellow ochre here Yellow ochre, here you go. Let's paint also here. And the white color. To make this a little bit lighter brown here. There you are. Very nice pathway here. How about we're going to mix the color with sap green. The sap green and the uh, orange color. Just add white. Going to add here. Just small touch of this yellow ochre. The green color, the light green color and small touch of the yellow ochre. I'm going to add here for some there you are for some greenish grasses here to the ground there you go the light green mixed with a uh, small uh, yellow ochre there you go very nice very nice house and there uh, blue color and the white the blue and the white there you are just add here there for some plants here the grasses the bushes this part and there white and blue there you are very nice part here some dark color here
there you go for the shadow oh no we're going to add some not yet we're going to add the light yellow here this one the green is light yellow that I mixed earlier there you go there the black and the soft green I'm going to mix these two colors the black and the soft green there you are very nice I think we're done with this painting have very very nice oops I'm going to retouch this part here and there that's nice painting this one very 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 nice painting now